Hi friends, how are you? By blessings, the God you are doing well. Uh, this is Dr. Arthur Mujana, faculty member, PG Department of Business Management, Fokin One University, Basavir, Balasur, Odisha. And this uh, video lecture I have prepared on the demand of my dear uh, student friends. And friends, today we are going to discuss the uh, vital and important uh, video lecture. So it's the merchant banking and it's from the financial market and the services. And friends, and this discussion will be very, very useful those who are preparing in the end-term exemption as well as those who are preparing for the competitive exemption like the lectureship as well as those who are preparing for the UGC NET and JRF and other similar types of exemption. Friends, without delay, we will start our discussion. Friends, today we are going to discuss uh, the important and the vital uh, video lecture, it's the motion banking. Friends, so these are the items or the menus to be discussed uh, in this video lecture. What is the uh, meaning of uh, merchant banking? Who is a merchant banker or who are the merchant bankers? And uh, what are the important, I mean the key features of merchant banking and the services provided by the merchant banker? And uh, what are the advantages, main advantages of merchant banking? And at last we will discuss some of the popular, I mean the name of the merchant bankers. Friends, I will have the request to all of you from first to or from beginning to end. Kindly you watch and you will know more and more and you will be uh, very much comfortable in your exemptions. Uh, as for our menu, so first uh, uh, let's uh, discuss uh, what is the meaning of a merchant banking. Merchant banking, it may be defined as an institution which covers a wide, wide range of activities. What are the wide range of activities? So these are the management of customer services, and this is the portfolio management, this is the credit syndication, acceptances of credit, counseling, and insurance. Friends, so we'll discuss one by one. So these are the vital or the important terms in uh, the um, finance area, I mean the financial market and services, what is the meaning of portfolio management, what is the meaning of credit syndication. During the discussion, I have prepared and you will know. So that's why, so these terms are very, very vital to you. And the, another, the meaning of the definitions of merchant banking, so merchant bank is a financial institution. So friends, you have to remember, so merchant bank is a financial institution that conducts or who is and uh, that conducts uh, the underwriting activities, sorry, uh, underwriting activities, loan syndication, financial advising, and fund raising services to or for large corporation. Large corporation. So, another the meaning of merchant banking is the merchant bankers provide, merchant bankers provides the advice to the businessmen or entities, so they are the businessmen and entities, so they are the clients to the merchant bankers. And the merchant banker will provide the number of activities to the businessmen or entities right from the stage of starting the projects and till commencement of the projects. So as for our menu, uh, who are the merchant bankers? So merchant bankers act as or a merchant maker play in a very very vital role in between the company and the customers. Company and the customers and also provides the vital banking and consultancy services to the client. Now we will discuss what are the key or important features of merchant banking. So first one is the advisory services. Merchant bankers provide the various advisory services to their clients, to their clients towards the management of the business, financial and the other legal matters. Second one features, it's the financial arrangement. The merchant banker, the merchant bankers, merchant bankers provide 
the financial arrangement for their client to fulfill of the short term, medium term as well as the long term financial needs. So the merchant banker will provide or can arrange the finance to the businessman or to the clients um, for the purpose of to meet the various short term, medium term as well as the long term financial requirements of the needs. Also another feature is it's the fee based service. Merchant bankers charge the fees by providing the professional services to a group of uh, customers. So next one feature portfolio management. What is portfolio management? Merchant bankers give the guides, give the guides to the clients by taking all the investment decisions by uh, by ensuring or for ensuring the better return in terms of the volatility, liquidity, profitability of investment before selection of uh, investment. So in this way, the merchant banker will guide to the clients for the investment savings and investment there the uh, the client will get the more return and the corporate restructuring so corporate restructuring so you see the that is the typing error re corporate restructuring services so merchant bankers perform the various formalities on behalf of the clients in restructuring the related activities like the mergers, takeovers, disinvestment, sale of a business unit. So in this way, the merchant banker will provide the number of uh, the services with regard to the corporate restructuring to the clients. So next, uh, the merchant banker also provide the stock broking services. They provide the functions like uh, a broker of stock exchange, I mean the merchant banker will act as a broker uh, in stock exchange by purchasing and selling uh, the securities of their clients. So securities means here friends, so share and debentures and other financial assets. Then innovative approach, innovative approach, so here what, uh, what, what merchant bankers do? The merchant bankers adopt the innovative approach to provide the services to their clients on the business matters to get the better business results. Also, the merchant banker, so next one feature, highly professional decision, sorry, highly uh, highly professional decision makers so merchant bankers are the very good i mean uh, the better professional decision makers so merchant bankers are the professional and expertise in, in various financial related services which help to provide the excellent management services to the clients they also provide the consultancy or consultant services to clients through the research and analysis. So next one, it's a, the feature is a, that is the large information. Large, inf large information here, what the uh, merchant banker do? Merchant banker take the strategic decisions due to the available large information in various areas like the market condition, legal issues, business, internal affairs. So here in this, uh, uh, now uh, in the pandemic COVID period, so what would be the strategic decision? So merchant banker will uh, give or take the strategic decisions in order to or by taking into the business environment or market condition, legal issues, business, internal affairs, etc. So next one, feature is, it's also very, very important, emphasis on fees and commission income. The merchant bankers also provide the professional services, professional services to the clients in return for some financial consideration in the form of a fees or commission. So when the merchant bankers will provide the uh, merchant banking uh, services or the financial services in return the uh, merchant banker will charge the some fees or commission from the clients. 
सो नेक्स्ट द क्लोज कॉन्टैक्ट विथ एनवायरमेंट एनवायरमेंट सो इट्स द टाइपिंग एरर एनवायरमेंट सो मर्चेंट बैंकर मर्चेंट बैंकर एनवायरमेंट इट्स द टाइपिंग एरर सो मर्चेंट बैंकर विल हैव द क्लोज कॉन्टैक्ट रेगुलर विथ द बिजनेस कंडीशन एंड दे प्रॉपर्ली एनालाइज द मार्केट कंडीशन अकॉर्डिंगली मर्चेंट बैंकर will guide their clients to reduce or avoid the portfolio gap of the business so in this uh, in this issue the merchant banker will play in the vital role and they will also provide the uh, advice to their clients then next uh, uh, one feature handle the promotional activities merchant banker take the responsibilities to carry out the promotional activities for their clients they provide both uh, financial as well as, as well as the technical assistance both the financial as well as the technical assistance are very very vital to the business entities or to the corporates i mean the companies or business organization the merchant banker will provide such types of services or uh, assistant to the to the clients so next time one feature uh growth of a new issue market growth of a new issue market here the merchant banker play in a vital role in indian financial system to grow the market by uh, uh, by which indian and foreign investor will and will sorry will enter into the indian financial market for the investment for the purpose of capital appreciation next one it's the development of a debt market so merchant banker also play in vital role in the debt market they help to their clients to develop the hybrid uh, they uh, develop the hybrid debt instruments so instrument debt instruments uh, by which the clients will raise the large amount of capital to fulfill to fulfill the financial requirements of the business so in this uh, uh we the merchant banker will play in a vital role then next one feature is it's the corporate restructuring cr so friends so uh, very soon i am going to uh, i am i am going to uh, prepare one video lecture with regard to the corporate restructuring we will discuss in detail there the corporate restructuring so merchant banker also provide the corporate restructuring to the corporates i mean corporate companies according to the favorable and unfavorable market condition or the business environment and the capital market as a whole accordingly the companies will adopt the corporate restructuring practices uh now we will discuss what are the important services provided by merchant banker or the scope of the merchant banker or the merchant banking or the role or functions of a merchant banking so friends we will discuss one by one so first one is that is the corporate counseling corporate means here the company corporate counseling the merchant banker provide the various corporate counseling activities corporate counseling includes what uh, these are the project counseling project management loan syndication working capital management capital restructuring public issue management fixed deposit lease financing etc so these are the corporate counseling activities of the merchant banker so uh, merchant banker will provide or provide the number of uh, that is the corporate counseling related activities to the clients so uh, these are the project counseling project management loan syndication working capital management capital restructuring public issue uh, management then uh, fixed deposit and lease financing then uh, next one service is it's the project advisory services here the merchant banker also provide the services like uh, the project identification sorry let's say the project identification preparation of the project appraisal of the projects and implementation of the project so in this way the uh, merchant banker will provide the project advisory services to their clients then corporate restructuring what is this uh, it is the or corporate restructuring is the process of making the changes in the 
composition of a firm one or more business portfolio in order to have more profitable enterprise. So they help in corporate restructuring activities for their clients or to the clients. Then uh, next one service is the issue management. Issue management. Uh, the uh, merchant banker deal to issue the shares and the debentures. I mean shares and the debentures. So they are the financial uh, securities or the financial assets of the company in due time. And what would be the size of issue according to the market condition? According to the market condition. So next one service. Uh, the merchant banker will manage the merger amalgamations and takeover related or the vital activities of their. Uh, for their clients. So, what is the meaning of a merger? Its value, the name says, so one company will be merged with another company. So, merger involves the combination of all assets, liabilities, loans, and business on going concern basis of two or more companies such that one of them survives. Again, I am repeating what is the meaning of merger? So, uh, 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 merger involves the combination of uh, all assets, liabilities, loans, and businesses on going concern basis of two or more companies such that one of them survives. It's the meaning of a uh, merger, friends. So, in a separate video, we will discuss in detail what is the meaning of merger, what is the meaning of amalgamation, what is the meaning of takeover, and by citing the suitable example. So, we will discuss there. So it's a the very good uh, example of a merger. So um, friends, you know the Group Bond India Limited, uh, uh, and another company A. It's a, the Group Bond uh, India Limited. Company B. It's the Lipton India Limited. So after merging, after merging, it's a, right now it's the Group Bond Lipton India Limited. So here the businesses of uh, Group Bond. As well as the businesses of Lipton India Limited, uh, uh, has been or the AB company has taken over the businesses of the Brook Bond India Limited as well as the Lipton India Limited. So right now the new after merging the new company is that is the AB I mean the Brook Bond Lipton India Limited. Then what is the meaning of a takeover? It's a very simple. The name says when a company or a company will take over the businesses of another company, I mean the B company. So it is the form of acquisition of a company rather than more, rather than merger. So here A B company after merging it's not the takeover. Or when A company will take over the businesses of B company, it's known as that is the takeover or the acquisition. In a separate video we'll discuss in detail. So here different types of uh, uh, different types of takeovers so it's a, that is the friendly takeover or hostile takeover like this so here the friendly takeover friendly takeover uh, johnson and johnson take over the businesses of crucial and here friends you know the facebook and parts of deal it's a, the very good examples of friendly takeover in separate video we will discuss in detail now what is the meaning of a loan syndication? Friends, we will know it. So, loan syndication, it is also known as that is the credit syndication. So, what is this? Uh, a merchant bank or the merchant banker arranges the loan or credit for, uh, credit for its clients who, uh, who may be a big corporates or the government departments or the local authority. So, merchant banker help to corporate clients to raise the syndicated loans from the banks and other financial institutions. So, syndicated loan, it is a loan offered by the group of uh, lenders. So, they are known as the syndicate. They are known as the syndicate who, who work together to provide the funds to a single borrowers. To provide the single borrowers. So, syndicated loan is offered by the group of lenders who work together to provide the credit to the large borrowers. Let's take an example. Suppose Nalco need 10,000 crore for its business. So, here and suppose three banks SBI, State Bank of India, PNB, and ICICI 
bank will provide in three banks jointly so they will give the loan to the nalco so it's a that the 10000 so it's known as a, that is the uh, that is the credit syndication or the loan syndication loan syndication so here the state bank of india punjab national bank uh, and icic bank so they will be treated as that is the syndicate so uh, i am hopeful that friends now you are clear what is the meaning of uh, loan syndication so next one it's the portfolio management and the merchant banker manage the portfolio to their uh, clients portfolio in efficient manner to reduce the risk at a lower level and get more return and ultimately that is the objective of the investment is what is this that uh, we will get more return by minimizing or by the, uh, avoiding the risk again uh, the portfolio management refers to managing an individual's investment in the form of uh, bonds shares hmm, that is the cash mutual funds etc so that he or she i mean the okay the investors or the savers will earn the maximum profits out of this financial product so another meaning of portfolio management is a portfolio management means uh, maintaining the proper combination of securities like the share debentures bond and other financial assets that they give the maximum return with the minimum risk friends i am hopeful now you are clear what is the meaning of a portfolio management now also another service or the role of uh, the merchant banker corporate advisor services we have already discussed the merchant banker also provide the corporate advisor services to their clients they provide the services like what that is the corporate finance in a solution the related problems of the business operation then corporate finance in ams it's the merger and acquisition then corporate finance for planning of business services then corporate finance in generating the funds etc so in this way the merchant banker will provide the number of the corporate advisory services then friends now we will discuss what is the meaning of a leasing what is the meaning of a leasing so merchant bankers merchant bankers roles hmm, merchant banker role also render the services to the leasing companies like uh, the merchant banker will arrange the lease finance also will uh, advise for the profitable st structuring of the lease transaction facilitating the legal documentations and the tax counseling etc friends so what is the meaning of a lease so lease is defined as a contract between two parties lesser and lessee for the hire of a specific asset for a specific period on payment of specified rentals so lease is a contract between the owner of the property so owner of the property is known as the lessor and the business is a known as the lessee who wants to use for the for their business purposes for their operation so lazy i mean the business will pay the rent to the lesser i mean the owner of the property friends i'm hopeful now you are clear what is the meaning of lazy lease what is the meaning of uh, the lesser and what is the meaning of uh, lazy then the merchant banker uh, also provide the assistant for the technical and financial collaborations to their clients with the objective of growth and development of the business and uh, next one services or the scope of merchant bankers a uh, consultancy to the seek industrial units so merchant bankers provide the not only provide the consultancy the consultancy services to the healthy industrial units also guides a uh, guides a them sorry it's a guides then uh, guides them for their further progress and expansion friends we know the objective of the business is not to earn the profit but also the other objectives of business are that is the growth development modernization expansion merger acquisition etc then the merchant banker also provide the services to the seek units by evaluating their technology process activities and restructuring their capital base for the purpose of a revival to be profitable units 
so another important the scope or the service provided by the merchant banker foreign currency financing the merchant banker undertakes the responsibilities of arranging the foreign currency finance like, like the fund funds for the foreign trades export credit facilities euro currency loans indian uh, joint venture abroad or the foreign collaboration etc so in this way the merchant banker uh, provides the number of uh, financial services to the to their clients then the venture capital financing friends i have already posted one video what is the meaning of venture capital what are the important features and the benefits and stages of a venture capital financing so i will have the request to all of you you go through the posted video and definitely your concept will be clear with regard to the venture capital financing so merchant banker also arrange the venture capital to their clients to enter into new ventures or the business operation where there is the high potential of a new business or startup entities to generate more profit and a growth of the business in future so in uh, the venture uh, merchant banker will uh, also arrange the venture capital to their clients and also the merchant banker provides the underwriting services what is the meaning of uh, friends the underwriting the merchant bankers acts uh, like an under uh, under sorry it's a under uh, what uh, underwriter that is the typing error underwriter that in the case of under subscription of the securities that the merchant banker gives the guarantee to a company to subscribe the uh, the said amount of remaining on uh, um, remaining subscriptions i mean the on subscribed securities will be said will be subscribed by the underwriter so the merchant banker will act as a, an underwriter friends so it's the typing error sorry then what are the advantages of or the merits of merchant banking so these are the advantages so first one is that is the utilize the financial surplus merchant bankers facilitate directing the surplus funds available with general public towards the merchant avenues for efficient utilization then uh, the synchronized activity synchronized the activity the merchant bankers merchant bankers act as uh, the coordinating agencies in uh, ensuring their cohesive activities uh, the regi- register uh, bankers advertising agency on the writers brokers etc in a synchronized manner friends we have already discussed uh, what is the meaning of uh, underwriters and the um, the uh, the broking activities of the merchant banker also the uh, merchant banker will do compliance with the rules regulations so merchant banker play in vital role to follow the various rules and uh, regulations relating to the securities market so next one the merchant banker identify and uh, exploit the various investment prospects available at a domestic as well as in a, that is the international or the global level and uh, the merchant banker will also analyze the risks merchant banker analyze uh, analyze both the micro and uh, macro economic risks risks which are associated to the countries or industries or companies and the real estate assets also friends i have already posted one video what is the meaning of uh, risks and uh, what are the different types of risks and what is the basic difference between the systematic risks and on systematic risks uh, so i will have the request to uh, to you, to you all that kindly go through this video and uh, you will know more and uh, more also the merchant banker execution of activities the merchant banker organize the investment proposals and implement thereof which involve uh, the activities like the detailed financial analysis uh, that is the deal negotiation transaction execution etc for their clients then uh, the merchant banker it's uh, another benefits it's the supporting management merchant bankers merchant banker supports to management of a company to build up the value and develop the core businesses or the portfolios portfolios 
then the merchant banker help in and arrange the ama that in the merger acquisition for their clients uh, also merchant banker also help for arrangement of loan syndication for their clients uh, friends we have already discussed and merchant banker also assist the capital formation in uh, general then merchant banker also assist and promote the economic development of a nation merchant banker also prepare the project report uh, conduct the market research and pre investment uh, pre investment sorry pre investment service pre investment service then the merchant banker also assist to provide the seed capital to startup company so friends i uh, uh, Um, friends in a, so definitely i will request all of you kindly go through the venture capital financing i have already posted one video so uh, there uh, there is a detailed discussion what is the meaning of seed capital and uh, other uh, that is the first round capital or second round capital like this then merchant bankers divert the savings uh, of a nation towards the productive channel in order to that is the corporates Ah, uh, or the investors, so they will get the ample of benefits. So these are all about the advantages. I mean the merits of a merchant banking. So now, friends, ah, uh, we will discuss the last part as per our menu. Don't miss out. Now we will ah uh, discuss the some of the name, merchant bankers' names and ah uh, or. the merchant banking service providers so it's the foreign bank in the year of 1967 it's the okay greenlands bank merchant banking division then so on then the city bank sbi state bank of india punjab national bank eco bank canara bank central bank of india icic bank so they have already set up the market uh, merchant banking division that so they are providing the merchant banking services to their clients i mean to the uh, business entities or the corporates also some the financial institution like uh, the ifci industrial financial corporation of india private merchant bankers like so they are the okay enough financial consultancy carvi investor services limited then jm morgan stanley limited then dsp lens limited bnp oh uh, parivas then the city group global market markets india etc so these are all about project discussion so uh, during the discussion if any mismatch or gap uh, you will find kindly you give your valuable comment or drop your valuable comment in the comment section and your valuable comments and suggestions are most welcome so uh, friends i will have the request to all of you uh, kindly you subscribe my uh, channel kindly you share uh, this uh, video lecture you forward this one and uh thanks a lot to all of you